Let's look at the couple inductor. Here I have this uh, couple inductor already kind of pre-drawn here because that will save a little bit of time. And similar to the inductance, we're going to have magnetic core, right? This magnetic core that's going to carry the flux and um, also have winding now instead of the uh, single winding for the inductors I have two windings the first winding we typically call the primary winding and the 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 other one we call the secondary winding and the first one has n sub 1 number turns and secondary winding has n sub 2 number turns and uh, now the situation is slightly more complicated uh, just uh, um so so i have the the current i1 i sub 1 so basically that's i sub 1 t so i'm not going to carry all the t uh that will make the notation too complicated so i'm just drop this t off but it's still time varying uh signals all these uh, variables are time varying and this current i1 will produce two flux Two fluxes. One is the phi sub L1. The phi sub L1 is the leakage flux due to I sub 1. And also there's another flux called phi, um, uh, phi sub 2 1. And that's one we call the mutual flux. And the mutual flux, basically that's the flux linking both windings, and we call the mutual flux. And basically in the magnetic core, a leakage flux only links one, um, uh, one winding. Uh, so that's mutual flux due to I sub 1 also. And also for the second winding, I have phi sub L2, that's the leakage flux due to I sub 2 and I have the mutual flux I1, I phi sub 1, 2 and that's this one here and this one is the mutual flux due to um, I sub 2 and by the way, the flux and the current they follow the right hand rule, right? The right hand rule is if you grab the coil, the winding, and using the four fingers pointing in the direction of the current, and the thumb is going to be pointing to the um, the flux direction. So that's one. That's the um, the right hand rule. Alternatively, you can reuse the right hand rule instead of grabbing the uh, coil you can grab a single wire in that case you will use your thumb to point in the current direction when you grab the wire right a single turn and then the four fingers going to be pointing to the direction of the uh, flux so you can try i think the first one is the more straightforward and uh, you can use either of this um, method to determine the flux direction and with this uh, concept um, cleared, and we, we're going to utilize this, the uh, current and the flux relationship similar to the inductance. And now we have a few, a few uh, components, right? So we have the leakage. So let's see the leakage flux phi sub L1 is going to be, pro be proportional to, let's call key 11 And since we have different constants so we use the uh, subscripts uh, to different uh, to distinguish them and a uh, case of a one one times and since this is the uh, this related to the first winding right so this is the n1 times i1 and the phi sub um, phi sub 2 one that's the mutual flux caused by the current i1 that's going to be equal to k sub 2 1 times n 1 times i 1 because if you think about you have more turns that that same current will excite more flux right and that's basically based based on the ampere's law 
and if you, if you still remember the physics and let's see for phi sub l2 that's going to be equal k 2 2 times n2 times i2 because this is caused by the sec current i2 and if you have more turns and that will be uh, that will be uh, uh, that will be uh, more flux and a phi sub uh, 2 phi sub 1 1 2 so this is the mutual flux caused by um, caused by the uh, current i sub 2 but the links the first winding right so but this magnitude is still going to be some constant times the number of two turns in the second one and then i2 right and if we pay attention to the mutual fluxes and we find uh, phi sub i2 uh, phi sub 2 1 and phi sub 1 2 they are in the same direction right so they are mo they are both in counter in uh, clockwise direction and that's because the winding if you use right hand rule for the first one and use the uh, the right hand rule for a second one so they they are in the same direction and therefore we can use the uh, Faraday's law and the Faraday's law for v1 is going to be equal to n1 times d d d t now the flux has is more complicated i have three components in the first winding right i have phi sub l1 and uh, then i have phi sub uh one two two one and then i also have phi sub one two right and if i would we see the v sub two and i'm gonna uh, have n two turns d d t now for i sub two uh for um v sub two then the three flux components and then i have phi sub l two plus phi one uh phi uh phi one two right this is the created by second one the second current but links the first winding and plus phi sub um two one so this is created by the first current by the current i sub one so if i substitute everything into this and what i'm gonna get is what i do is substitute all this component into this so into the first one and this one here and then i will find a key one one uh, i will find a key one one plus k21 times n1 square and di1 dt and then i have plus the n1 so if i substitute this one and n1 times so I have a k12 times n1 times n2 times di2 dt. And similar for this one here, I'm gonna have, let's see if we first write this one. And then this one gonna be n2 times k11 times n1. No, n2 times k21. So I have k21 times n1 times n2 and di1 dt and then plus the uh, this term and this term and if i substitute that i got uh key one two oh here i should use yeah so key one two i use key two two plus key one two times n2 square times di2 dt right so right let's recognize the few terms and the uh this term we give a the uh name for the called the mutual inductance that's m sum one two m sum two one and this is the mutual inductance m sub uh, one two and this one called the self inductance l sub 2 and this is called the uh, the self inductance l sub 1 so 
this equations we can get is v1 over v1 equal l1 times di1 dt plus m and since m1 this is m1 equal m uh, m21 is equal m12 and we just use a single um, single uh, symbol for that for the mutual inductance and the mutual inductance is di sub 2 dt and v2 is going to be equal to m di1 dt plus uh, the L2 di2 dt and L1 L2 are self inductance and M is mutual inductance okay so this is the uh, concept of the mutual so this is very important and this is how you describe the voltage and current relationship for the coupled inductor this is different from the single inductor right so let's look at a simple example and let's see if I know the L1 L2 and I can find the um, the current uh, the voltage right so uh, we just say simply uh, apply the things we uh, the relationship of the voltage and v1 is just equal uh, to l1 di1 dt plus m di2 dt and since we know that l l1 and i i2 i1 we, we know all the things so we have 0 0.002 times d dt uh, the I1 is 10 times the cosine 1000 T and for the M is point, uh, 0.0015 that's 1.5 millihenry times the DDT of um, the I2 I2 is 5 times the sine 1000 T and if you work out this simple uh, derivative here you get the first one here we got a d cosine x is equal to negative sine x right so we're gonna have something negative and the cosine a thousand t that's a thousand times uh, negative sine a uh, thousand t so I have a thousand two times that ten that's twenty sine thousand t and for the sine x that's a cosine right I have a thousand t so I got a thousand out when I take the derivative and I get a 1.5 times the 5 and that's 7.5 times cosine a thousand t and so this is the voltage you actually can combine this to a single sine function or cosine function uh, based on the trick identity I'm not going to go through those steps and just want to illustrate the process how we can calculate the voltage and if we have the uh, for V2 I have uh, M times Di1 dt plus L2 Di1 Di2 dt which is equal to M which is 0 0.0015 and D dt 5 uh, no I1 is 10 cosine a thousand T and plus the L2 uh, L2 which is a 2 millihenry times D DT a 5 times sine a thousand T right the similar one is you take the cosine function you get a negative thousand sine so you get a 15 negative 15 co uh, sine thousand t and plus so you get a 2 times 5 that's a 10 times the cosine thousand t 
and the you need the votes right and the one thing I didn't really mention is the the mutual philosophy they will they, they do not always add up sometimes they may be in the opposite direction let's look at this uh, the uh, the drawing I have here let's look at another case let me just uh, make this a little larger and let's see if we look at this one here and if you uh, so the first one you apply the uh, right hand rule so the 521 produced by the first one is still pointing point in the clockwise direction right but for the second one here if you use the i2 and then you grab this and the um, this the uh, mutual flux actually go in counterclockwise direction right so they are opposite to each other therefore if you do all the things you uh you, we just went through and you will end up this one here for for the voltage you're going to end up with l1 di1 dt and minus m di2 dt mdi2 dt and v2 is going to be equal minus m on di1 dt plus l2 di2 dt so sometimes this is the the plus sometimes minus so you, in order to really distinguish these scenarios we we will need to introduce what we call the data convention we're going to look at the data convention in the next video clip, okay?